All right, everybody, our friends at the Guam Young Professionals Organization are organizing a legislative forum, helping you to understand the people that are running for public office and how you can understand the issues for which they stand. I have got Michael Gatewood and Nate Timinglow, two friends of mine who are doing wonderful things in the island's private sector. Gentlemen, half a day. Half a day. Half Thanks a day. for having us. Okay, well, it's, it's interesting, I would say, Mike, we'll start with you as, you know, young people, dynamic, interested in, in with private sector issues and everything like that, sure. organizing um, prospective senators and everything to come and share their thoughts on the things that concern you as far as capitalism. That's, that's correct. You know, I, I think um, it, GYP, we, for the election, what we really want to do this year is uh, focus on issues that relate to our membership and our um, age dynamic between 21 and 40. And we also want to um, focus on hot topics that are, are happening uh, right now on the island. So we're very excited. Uh, it's going to be this Wednesday at the Western, Western Resort of the 21st. So we're, we're very excited to have everyone, you know, participate. And we have a record of 24 um, candidates that are confirmed to be there. So that's a lot of people. That's going to be a yeah. lot of feedback and a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of Q and A. I would assume. Yes. Okay. So uh, Nate, what are some of the topics that you know that influence your age demographic? You know, for GYP, as Mike just said, twenty-one to forty. So you're getting a lot of people just out of college. You know, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Some people in middle management. Some people, you know, moving up the corporate ladder. Is it things like you know the ongoing topic with minimum wage and you know innovation, growth, things like that. Yeah, it's, it's it's quite interesting. You know, we're we're going to be bond focused with this. Uh, it's 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 uh, we're going to be touching topics that are really relative to you know guys in our age demographic, mostly because um, a lot of the decisions we're making now, policy wise, are going to be affecting us um, in another 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to hone in on those. Um, like you mentioned, minimum wage is a is a huge issue for us. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to try to be young professional focused, but at the same time, um, just young demographic focused. Mm -hmm. And since you are you know representing the islands, you know private sector where a lot of the island's best and bright minds go because they want to create, you know, the next Amazon, the next Ford, things like that. Um, I would assume that you guys are going to hold these candidates to a very, very high standard. Always, yes, uh, definitely. You know, we, we have a, uh, our a moderator is Logan Rages, who's no, um, you know, no rookie to this. I think he's hosted and moderated about three or four times. And he, the he does. The past president of GYP, he, right? He is, he is. Thank you. And he, he, he's pretty experienced at this. Him and Mars Johnson have done this a few times, and they're going to keep the ball rolling. And you know, we have about eight questions um, you know, lined up for, for all the candidates. And you know, they're going to have about uh, one minute to give their introduction, to in introduce themselves, you know, uh, explain their platform. And then each candidate's going to answer about two questions each for about 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. And some of them relate to, like Nate said, you know, uh, business issues. And some of them relate to some of the more recent, like the deportation issues. And that's something that, you know, our membership wants to hear from as well. Mm -hmm. Now, when y your membership, Nate, um, gets to be, you know, past the cutoff point of 40 years old, you guys will move on to, you know, upper management, executives, hopefully business owners, you know, starting your own companies and things like that. At that point, you'll be begin to work with these senators, you know, on a more direct level, crafting policy, formulating um, ideas and everything like that. So you get as much out of this, not only as voters, but as business people who will directly work with them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite interesting. You know, a lot of people think that the Guam Young Professionals is just a bunch of 21 year olds hanging out. Um, you know, we have um, Mike Gatewood's an attorney um, at uh, previously Carl Smith Ball. And, um, you know, a lot of our members constitute not just uh, young leadership, but executive leadership in some of our largest institutions. Uh, we have a couple of uh, executive vice presidents from the Bank of Guam. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's interesting seeing the dynamic of who's in the group. You know, we have about 172 members and we pre represent, uh, you know, all levels within, uh, within professional service. So, I mean, it's, you know, considering the demographics of those that are running for senator positions, um, I would probably say that, you know, we're up towards the, the higher end in terms of what um, the types of questions that we're going to be asking. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not just going to hone in on basic issues. We're, we're really going to try to dig into some of the senators and their positions. You guys are going to dive deep. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like how you quantified the fact that you've got like over 170 members because if people would like to attend because they feel that, you know, the private the private public you know intersection is important to them do they have to be a member of gyp or the chamber or and if not can they pay to attend uh no it's open to the public you don't have to be a member of the chamber you don't have to be part of the guam young professionals and uh, it's 25 dollars to attend and it's at again it's um this wednesday september 21st at 11 at the weston somnac ballroom uh, from 11 to 2 and it's 25 dollars and if you have and you if you would like to uh, register 
And, you know, RSVP early. I recommend that. We're filling up fast. So they can call the chamber directly at 472-6311 or email them at info at guamchamber.com.gu. Right. We are filling up fast. Okay. So. And if for people, for whatever reason, they're not able to make it or they can't stay for the whole thing, will you guys be live streaming it or posting, you know, like notes on social media? You know, at this time, I don't think we are planning for that, but that's mm -hmm. a great idea. You know, hopefully we can get something from now until then so we can live stream. We'll tell you what, we'll see if we can help you out with that. Awesome. Let's awesome. go talk about, we're going to go to commercial break. We'll see if we can like, uh, if you, see, this is how the private sector works and <laughs> deal making. <Yes. laughs> All right, we're back after this.